Can cloud seeding make the UAE's desert green? In the vast deserts of the United Arab Emirates, UAE, there are now large areas of greenery that stand out against the golden sands. This change isn't a natural event, it's something that's been carefully planned and executed. It's called desert greening, and despite all the wealth and luxury in the UAE, this effort might be one of its most important investments yet. According to the United Nations, by the year 2025, a staggering 1.8 billion people worldwide will be facing severe water shortages. Without enough water for people, animals and plants, a country can face significant challenges. This is especially true for desert nations like those in the Middle East, where climate change is making water sources even more scarce. In fact, 12 out of the 17 most water-stressed countries in the world are located in this region. The transformation happening in the UAE's deserts is crucial because it's combating the threat of water scarcity head-on. With less than 200 millimeters of rainfall per year, the United Arab Emirates faces a significant challenge in ensuring an adequate water supply for its population. To put this into perspective, cities like London receive over five times more rainfall annually, while Singapore experiences an astonishing amount with over 3,000 millimeters of rain in a year. To address this challenge and support the UAE's ongoing development and population growth, the government's made substantial investments in research totaling over $20 million. Covering a vast expanse of over 83,000 square kilometers, the UAE is predominantly desert terrain, with approximately 80% of its landmass characterized by arid landscapes. According to estimates from the World Bank, the Emirates experienced a significant loss of nearly 33,000 hectares of land between 2002 and 2018, primarily due to land degradation. This decline in arable land has far-reaching implications, affecting the lives of over 3 billion people worldwide. Those residing in desert and dry land ecosystems, which encompass nearly half the Earth's surface, are especially vulnerable to the consequences of dwindling arable land and land degradation. One of the key initiatives that emerged from this investment is cloud seeding, a process aimed at enhancing rainfall by manipulating clouds. The primary goal of cloud seeding is to augment the replenishment of groundwater reserves, which are vital for sustaining water availability in the region, which rely heavily on water resources for various purposes, including agriculture, industry, and domestic consumption. To address this impending threat, the UAE has intensified efforts to combat desertification. Cloud seeding plays a significant role in the efforts of the UAE to enhance rainfall and support its goals of creating a greener and more sustainable country. The National Center of Meteorology in Abu Dhabi serves as the nerve center for these operations, where experts meticulously track weather patterns and coordinate cloud seeding activities. With around 1,000 hours of cloud seeding conducted annually, the process involves the deployment of aircraft equipped with specialized equipment to release salt substances into clouds, thereby stimulating the condensation process and promoting rainfall. The cloud seeding process begins with careful monitoring of weather forecasts to identify suitable cloud formations. Once favorable conditions are identified, aircraft are dispatched to specific locations where clouds are forming. As the aircraft penetrate the clouds, salt particles are released, leveraging natural updrafts to facilitate the condensation of water vapor and the formation of larger rain droplets. However, amidst the rapid development, the UAE has not forgotten its roots. Long before the emergence of skyscrapers and modern cities, the country had a history of planting trees in areas devoid of vegetation, a practice known as afforestation. Plants serve as nature's remarkable carbon dioxide absorbers, making them invaluable allies in the fight against climate change. While various engineering approaches are explored to remove greenhouse gases from the atmosphere, plants emerge as one of the most effective tools in this regard. Their ability to sequester carbon dioxide through photosynthesis highlights the profound impact that nature-based solutions can have in mitigating the effects of global warming and fostering a more sustainable future. This trend of greening deserts is not unique to the UAE. It's a global phenomenon, particularly in countries with extensive desert landscapes. 
The objective is to introduce trees and other plant communities to arid regions, thereby increasing the green cover and combating desertification. The vision of the UAE's late president to provide permanent settlements for the nomadic Bedouin tribes in the desert laid the foundation for the nation's ambitious initiatives. Recognizing the pivotal role of trees in combating desertification, the country's leaders embarked on a mission to cultivate greenery in arid areas. Approximately 20 years ago, the ruler of Dubai announced the ambitious One Million Trees Initiative, signaling a commitment to greening the landscape and enhancing biodiversity. Under this initiative, the plan aimed to plant 250,000 trees annually, in partnership with the Dubai Police Academy. As the initiative gained momentum, groves of olive, palm, and gaff trees, the national symbol of the UAE, known for its resilience, began to adorn the previously empty terrain, breathing new life into the environment. The success of tree planting initiatives like the One Million Trees Project hinges not only on the selection of suitable tree species, but also on thoughtful landscape engineering. When planting trees, consideration must be given to factors such as water availability and soil conditions to ensure the survival and growth of the newly introduced vegetation. The engineering of the landscape plays a critical role in the success of a forestation project. It involves careful planning and execution to optimize water retention, soil quality, and microclimate conditions for the planted trees to flourish. By integrating sustainable land management practices and leveraging innovative techniques, such as water capture systems and soil conditioning methods, landscapes can be transformed to support thriving ecosystems. A significant milestone in the One Million Trees initiative was the establishment of a tree nursery covering an expansive area of more than 130,000 square meters. The nursery played a crucial role in supplying the vast number of trees needed to fulfill the ambitious planting goals of the initiative. However, the green aspirations faced a formidable challenge with the emergence of the Mall of the World project, a colossal shopping center venture proposed by Dubai Holding, the investment entity of the Emirates ruler. The project was slated to require a staggering investment of $6.8 billion and was earmarked to be constructed on the very land where the thriving tree nursery once stood. The prospect of losing the land to the Mall of the World project cast a shadow over the future of the tree nursery and the broader One Million Trees initiative. Unfortunately, the project did not come to fruition, leaving behind a trail of dashed hopes and thousands of trees that languished and perished as a result. In January 2015, the UAE cabinet approved the UAE Green Agenda for 2030, signaling a renewed focus on building a green economy and fostering environmental stewardship. Recognizing the pivotal role of plants in mitigating climate change, the agenda emphasized the importance of harnessing nature-based solutions to combat greenhouse gas emissions. In addition to cloud seeding and the One Million Trees project, the UAE employs a range of strategies to conserve water and promote sustainable agriculture. Desalination, for example, is a vital method for increasing water availability, while the adoption of drought-resistant plant species helps minimize water usage in landscaping and agricultural practices. However, the success of these efforts in greening the UAE's landscape is multifaceted and requires a comprehensive approach that balances water conservation with the expansion of agricultural activities. Despite the challenges posed by the country's arid climate, the UAE's made significant strides in expanding its agricultural sector and promoting green initiatives. The greening of landscapes holds the potential to improve air quality, reduce the prevalence of respiratory illnesses, and enhance overall quality of life for residents in desert regions. Moreover, the psychological benefits of green spaces cannot be overstated, as access to natural environments has been linked to reduced stress levels, improved mood, and increased social cohesion. As such, investing in initiatives to green landscapes represents a holistic approach to addressing the multifaceted challenges posed by climate change and desertification in the region.